Okay, we're going to put in a new faucet here. This one's leaking down below. And uh, we're not sure if it's the faucet or if it's the pipes. So we're just going to throw in a new faucet. I'm not going to worry about it. So, so you got to get. See, you got to get way up there to loosen that sucker. That's going to be a nightmare. So what you do to get up there is you use one of these wrenches called a basin wrench. You get up there and you loosen them nuts. So I found them at Walmart. You, I, I bought a new one in case the other one stopped. It, it, it was only like six bucks or so. We're going to put in this faucet, the Peerless from Walmart, with a sprayer, it was $39. Same type of thing at Lowe's was like $20 more, $30 more, so for $39 I think it's a good deal. Walmart should give you a discount for advertising. <laughs> Okay, so we already got the wa we already got the water turned off downstairs. And she was she started to fiddle with this, but I don't. There, there's really nothing in there you can. Have to stop it from leaking underneath. There's nothing you can mess around with. So first step is she's got to get down there and take them nuts off. <laughs> Come on, get to work. I can't, I can't even bend them there. Here, here, Tommy. You gotta get to work. Come on, do some work. Come on. And he said, "I can't eat that. Why are you giving me that?" <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, she's taking the doors off, so that'll give us a little bit more room. So there's just a screw there. Yeah, one at the top and the bottom. I took them off when I painted the thing. If you're going to replace the trap anyway, it's probably e easier to work it without the trap. Oh yeah, she's saying take that out of there. This thing here. Because it's leaking, so I went ahead and bought one of these. This was also Walmart. It was the only kit they had. You can see it's movable. It was only six bucks. and. Uh, since I didn't know exactly what was leaking, I got one of these things too. In, in, case, in case ours is rusted down below here. I know she wiggled it. It looked like there was water coming out of there. See, that goes on top of there like that. So. I got duct tape on there and glue. And then we have <laughs> turnoffs downstairs in the basement, but I thought we'd go ahead and put these below the sink. And then these days, I think they just use these on the faucet. And I bought some shorter ones. This was the shortest ones I could find, 12 inch. Uh, fella at Lowe's looked around. He said he didn't have nine inch ones. And he said it would be okay if you bend them around and stuff like that in order to get them to fit. And they're marked faucet. So, 
There were shorter ones, but they had like real big, real big nuts on them. So I, I think they're for some for something else. So that's our Saturday project. Always something. Okay, so the hardest part is going to be getting over that six inch ridge there in that little spot. You know? So we just happen to have this cushion sitting around. It's been hanging around here for years. So I'm going to lay on this while I'm working. That's going to go up in there like that. Okay. Okay, so first we're going to take the trap out. I'm just going to bang on it with the hammer here for a while until it comes out. Tin can. Well, it's that part up there is metal. The t that top pipe. That's why I got duct tape on it. That that was supposed to be a joke when I said I was gonna bang on it, but <laughs> it looks like that's what I'm gonna have to do. See it? I I can't even get my wrist it. It, in there to turn it. You need a. <laughs> you need that. Um, what do you call it? Pipe, pipe wrench. The, the big one. That's right down here at the bottom of the stairs. But I don't think it would help. You have to loosen up the one at the bottom too. She's talking about this one here. She's got it all gooped up, so that that's why it's not coming apart. Well, I don't know about it. I didn't put any down there, but I had the top because it was leaking. I don't think I can really film in there, when you? <laughs> Before you pull that down, you want to stick this bucket over there under it. You filming? Yeah. All right. <laughs> 40 acre plumbing. You ever do plumbing with a saw? <laughs> See this, this is the nut she was saying you might need the pipe right on but that sucker ain't moving. It's been on there 50 years. And then there's really no room to even move it once I get the wrench on there. I don't know how much I'm getting. <laughs> well, that's okay. Do what you can. There's a, if you need more light in there, you stick See? that flashlight in there. No, just, just put it light. There's no room to move it. See what I mean? Hmm? Yeah, you move the water pipe. I hope yeah. don't mess that up. <laughs>
They don't show you this part on this old house, do they? <laughs> no. They show them knocking down the walls and they make it look easy. And now instead of putting metal ones on there, they put plastic ones so you can unscrew them. That's a lot of crud. I think you got this gooped up too. I don't think I don't think I put any on that. I only put it up there where it was leaking at the top. It wasn't leaking down there. It's probably just rusted on. And you put it back on, you're gonna put Vaseline on it or something. Things here is that they got a pipe down. Oh, that's the pipe I cut off. Huh. I was gonna yeah. say, what the hell? There's a pipe down inside the pipe. <laughs> okay. Probably have to pull that out with a pliers. <laughs> I think you got a goop down in there because it, it ain't moving. Yeah, it's just crud. <laughs> Being in there so long. Let's stick a screwdriver in and pry it up. Who knows how far down it goes. <laughs> I can barely turn it. There's no way I'm going to be able to pull it up. Stick a screwdriver in it and see if you can I can't, get a wedge. I can't stick a screwdriver inside there. No, oh, right through the side. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> have to drill a hole in it. Gonna have to do a lot of editing in this thing. Yep. <laughs> <clears throat> wow, they put a long one in there, didn't they? <laughs> Just they wanted to drain the china. <laughs> <clears throat> Never had any trouble with it draining into the sewer line because it goes straight down to the main sewer. Crud in there. <laughs> the wonder the water went down. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <sighs> okay. Okay. Here's a faucet from uh, Walmart. Peerless. P115LF-W Kitchen faucet chrome 4 inch sink 4, four hole sink application 
side sprayer for easy pot filling and cleanup around the sink. Spout 360 degrees. Why you know needed to go 360 degrees? I don't know. <laughs> Spray behind the sink. You don't want water behind the sink. <laughs> Already got water behind the sink. We don't need no directions. Well, they put directions in there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I couldn't even find directions for the other one. There's two little plastic things there. Okay, it looks like there's not much to it. Just slip that down in there. Screw these on. That holds it to the sink. This would go on top of the sink. And then put the hot water there, cold water there, and connect the uh, sprayer there. Okay. That's all there is to it. Okay, so these things go on here. This would go on there. Put it nicely in case you bring it back, right? Yeah, yeah. Come on, film. And then this would go on here. And then this is connected to our pipe. So that's what I don't know. I don't think we have screw runs. Something, it looks like something screws, but I don't know if it's the right size. So the first step is getting the old pipes off and seeing if we can get that part screwed onto our pipes down there. Uh, if we don't use those, it might be easier just to put that on because we got turnoffs in the basement. Or they might have turnoffs that are smaller on one side too. You can always check on that. Okay. Okay, so this one here, these were connected on here like this. And it just had these on there. This just went on here like this. So I was able to loosen that up by hand. It's this part I don't know what to do with. And then that just goes up to the sink, so I gotta get up there with that. That basin wrench and loosen up those nuts. Us. It looks like there's just one, just the one in the middle. Okay. Okay, so that doesn't look like a normal basin wrench thing. It looks like he's got it bolted on there with a bolt. I need to get a long socket set, see if I can get that off there. Yeah, this one over here is only that long. See, that's, we used to have a, a dishwasher hooked up to that one. That's where we're going to put the sprayer. Okay, I was able to get this bolt off. They have this bolt on here like that. And, uh, Anything else I, uh, to be holding it? I just happened to have the right socket, so I was surprised I had one of these in my socket set. So, 
I don't know what kind of contraption he's got here on the bottom. So hopefully this will just fall off. Yeah, I, I think it's just rust. Huh? I think it's just rust holding it up. Okay, so that bolt came out easy. I just tapped up. It looks like he put some type of spacer in, in there to get that to work. So hopefully we won't have a problem put, putting the other faucet back on. Okay, this was on the bottom that up there I was able to uh, get that off with just a pair of players and then uh, that was the water line and then the nut holding the bottom of the old washer dishwasher nozzle I'm just that, that was loose I was able to get that off with just my fingers so it's been up there for what 30 years we ain't used it in 30 years <laughs> yeah so uh, when I first touched it, uh, it got all kind of rust. It just uh, all kind of rust fell. So. Okay. Okay. Uh, so. This looks like it's in good shape here, though. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Faucet itself. <laughs> yeah, that's that's that that's when they made real faucets, steel. Now they steel make, from the USA. Now they make plastic crap that falls apart. <laughs> that's got to be what. 40 years old? Easy. 16. I don't know, probably back... Do you ba remember us having the dishwasher? That, I must have been 10 years old, so that's at least 40 years old. Oh, yeah. At least. That's old. Still perfect shape. So. <laughs> Sell them on eBay. So this water line was on here like this. And I just took that off with the crescent wrench. Okay, so hand me one of them silver pipes, you know, with the braids. It doesn't matter. So these, these things here, they'll screw right on there. Okay, so that fits. And then that'll go on the bottom of the sink. So we're good to go there. Now the problem is these things, if we wanted to get these to go on here. We need a different type of fitting here. So here's a tip I learned at 40 Acre Plumbing School. I put a piece of sandpaper on top of a rubber mallet. Takes it on there with some masking tape. <laughs> it's kind of and then uh, I'll be able to get up, up top there and clean out the rust with this thing. Yeah, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Did <laughs> All right, see how nice that works? Feel free to use that tip. Feel free to copyright it. <laughs> Here, Ma. Here. Hmm? Here. You want me to film it? No, you, no, you can turn it off. Hmm. Okay, so putting the uh, 
new sink strainer in. This looks like it's fairly easy. Just can't get the box open. <laughs> Get the old one out. So it's just this thing here. Is there one like that on the other one? Yeah. See, and that that's what holds it on. But I can't grab this with a wrench. So be sure area around opening the sink is clean and free of dirt. <laughs> Remove all lock nuts, washers from strainer body. Tighten lock nut by hand. So that I guess I guess that's the lock nut. That's not that that holds the uh, the pipe in. But this is this holds this part to the sink. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if they use a special tool for that or not. Wall holding strainer body in place inside sink. Thread on lock nut to bottom of sink against the washer. Tighten lock nut by hand. Okay, if you got these little things, maybe you can put a screwdriver against them and hit it with so, a hammer to get it loose. So that way goes on, so this way goes off. So that way. That's on, that's off. So. You may have to hit it with a hammer to get it started because of those. Yeah. So you got those little notches. I didn't try to do it by hand, but I doubt if I could move it. Could move it with the pliers. Checking it Re out. <laughs> repeat after me. Just keep saying it'll make a good video. Okay, so. I'm trying to take that that uh, drain out there. It's been in there like a hundred years, so it don't want to come out. Yeah, that that screw like there. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm gonna try and cut it out with a new hacksaw. Here, 50 mm -hmm. or 60 years old. Really? Wow. It's almost as that, old as Debbie. That that's why it won't come out. What's, what's Debbie? 50. 52, what are you? 56? Yeah. Always cut it at the thickest point. That always helps. Huh? <laughs> you ain't filming. You're supposed to be filming up here. I can't see it up there. Oh, that turns so like like you can get down here and still see it. So see still see see what it's filming. Okay, so mm -hmm. make sure you get this part here. 
This is the this is the fun part. Should have hired a plumber. That's what I said. You want to hire a plumber? One how, how many hours it takes? <laughs> Should have bought a grinder. <laughs> you got a grinder. He's laying on the floor. <laughs> I, I can't get the saw, saw to move. Should have stayed in the music business. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My son said I can do it. <laughs> it's simple. Uh -oh, what can you do with the hammer? You put all the tools away already? No, they're right here. Big part come off, but it's the little rim around the edge. Of it. Well, let me try. <laughs> the whole thing's gonna fall apart. <laughs> I had to watch the video to learn that. <laughs> Just to cut it off with a couldn't, figure, couldn't figure it out. Gotta be a trick to it. My son said, oh, I can do it. It's simple. I watched it on the YouTube. <laughs> Stop it now. Yeah. 